Hey guys, uh, Mr. Freddy here, and today it's going to be another LEGO review, and this time it's a LEGO Star Wars set, which is the First Order Battle Pack, which set number is 75132, and it has uh, 88 pieces, which I think can make less pieces than the Resistance Battle Pack, and it's for ages 6 to 12. So, <clears throat> instruction manual, which has a total of, hang on, 20, 20 pages steps to build, so... Yeah, and there's the advertisement for the Master of Your Force app, which I think is sadly defunct, which replaced by the theater app for from the from the current years. It does for other Lego theme sets, so yeah. <clears throat> and for the minifigures, first is the first order stormtrooper, which it looks nice, you know. It has pretty good details on the helmet, the the front printing and the back printing for the torso and the leg printing so yeah also the all the minifigures in the set always have the star blaster similar to the other star wars sets that have those and other lego sets that pretty much always have these damn blasters so here's a little demonstration of what it is yeah and also also for the and what's what's under the helmet it's a generic uh angry clone face so yeah which it's always, yeah, it's always been, always been the issue, you know, because, you know, <clears throat> I think it's, because the First Order Stormtroopers aren't, like, clones or something like that, unlike the regular Stormtroopers, so, yeah, and also the back printing, so, yeah, which I, in case I forgot, and here's another one which has the best on, which has a different printing, but has the same, like, printing as the, the other First Order Stormtroopers, so, here's the, here's the back, which, it didn't have anything in there, which I shouldn't have been, should have been better if it had a backpack or something like that. So yeah, and here's the angry clone face. Some same, yeah. It's come with just two. So yeah. So that was that. Next is the the Force Order crew member, which crew members, which the first one is has a helmet on and wasn't well, completely black, but just something in the inside, which which is yeah. It's just you know, you just. Look less intimidating unless you put on a mask, which makes it look a bit intimidating. And yeah, he looks nice, you know, by the helmet and and the printing on the front and the back. But I don't like printing because they're all more black. <clears throat> Next is the uh, this one has the, the unique helmet and has the darker skin and same printing as the other crew for Zora crew member. So not complaining, but looks cool, but. So I kind of swear that the helmet is almost a bit Darth Vader like, but yeah, it didn't have a good mask on. But yeah, yeah, there's actually sort of almost, you know, the first crew members almost have that Darth Vader like helmets, but they didn't have the something that has covered it, covered their faces. So yeah, and for the and for the build, which is this generic turret, which you know, it looks nice, but <clears throat> not as good as the the little vehicle in the resistance battle pack, which you know, as in, it's always mostly just the uh, light gray, dark gray pieces and little translucent red pieces, and you can move the turret like up and down. Also, also you can open these little gates, which or hatchets, which has these little extra studs in case you lose one of them, and you know, one of which is for controlling the the turret, which you can have. Someone control it, and and also the play feature on this fan is some of the stud blasters just yeah, just bl blast them with that stud blaster, little stud turret. So yeah, so what do we think about this set? It's you know it's it was decent, but now let's go to the Resistance belt, uh, Battle Pack, Resistance Trooper Battle Pack, I meant. But it has a pretty good looking minifigures since I think they're a bit more unique than the Resistance Battle Pack. Resistance Trooper Battle Pack? God damn it. But but the build, yeah, it's a bit weaker than the. than, than it's a veteran, veteran back in those days. Since I think people were more preferred that than this. But. Rankin has said it's gonna be like a, a 6.5 out of 10, you know. Not as good as the Resistance uh, Trooper Battle Pack, but 
at least has some good minifigures, like the the storm first order stormtroopers and these crew members of the first order. So yeah, <clears throat> just hope you guys have enjoyed this uh this review and uh, see you someday for another one. Hopefully, so uh, goodbye.